guys welcome back to a brand new video in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can install any custom rom on any android device that has a custom recovery on it so first up you're going to be uh needing a zip file with your rom in it and a custom recovery if you don't know how to install a custom recovery there will be a link in the description to one of my previous videos so to start up you, you will um need to boot into recovery you can do that by pressing the power button, home button and volume up or you can use an app if you are rooted. So I'm just going to wait for my phone to load into recovery mode. So I have TWRP. Okay, so once you're in your custom recovery, you need to go to wipe, advanced wipe and select Dalvik cache system and data and internal storage and swipe to clear so make sure you put your zip file in a SD card so that way you won't um, have to dig in or because you, you, you're in you're wiping the internal storage so you won't have to dig through like your computer again put in your SD card blah 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 so then you press into install Select storage into micro SD card or USB OTG if you have one. So I have an SD card. So I have this ROM called Back to Newt. What it is it's an Android TouchWiz based Android 4.4 ROM for the Galaxy S3 International. So I'm just going to swipe this, and by swiping it, it's going to flash the ROM. So this can take a few minutes depending on how big the ROM is. So I wouldn't recommend having a ROM over 1.2 GB as that does take up a lot of storage. So this room is this um, ROM is called Back to Newt. Um, there will be a link in my description to it, a forum on S XDA developers. So we'll just wait for this to finish flashing and I'll be back. Alright, so now my ROM has been flashed. So I'm going to be pressing Reboot System and you're going to get a prompt to install the twrp app so just press do not install and this another prompt saying install super to root your device swipe to install if you want to root your phone so let's wait for that to load and our phone should be booting up so the first boot will take a bit longer than a normal boot as it is um the first boot on a new rom for your phone so so here my phone's booting up if your device doesn't work or just keeps on showing the Samsung logo, you can try having another reset. If it doesn't work, then you can see on my channel how you can unbreak or unroot any Android device. So I'll just wait for this to finish uploading because this can take up to five minutes or more. Right, so here my phone has now booted up onto a uh, galaxy welcome page so you can just go through the setup as you would normally so i'll be back when i finished my setup and i'll show you how you can then root your phone as it said in the custom recovery all right so now i've completed my setup process if you go into my apps you'll see super Sue here installer if you click on that press twrp and it will be downloading the zip file and the binary for Super Sue. So we'll just wait for that to load. It can take a bit of a while depending on your internet speed. So I'll just wait for that to load. Alright, so now uh, that's finished downloading. We can press continue. And what this will do is it will take us into our custom recovery. And it will flash um, Super Sue and that should root your device. So here as you see. So this process is automatic, you won't have to do anything, it will flash the files for you, reboot the phone for you, do everything for you. So after, um, see now our files flashed, our phone's going to boot, boot up as normal. This boot won't take as long, so hopefully after this boot, your phone should be rooted. So thanks guys for watching this video, if you thought it was helpful, don't forget to share, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if you need any help, don't forget to write anything in the comment section. I will be replying to any comments. And thanks.